thanks for clicking on the video so you know that this is intelligence mod and we're doing rpg a day for 2020 i'm clint i'm theo and it is the 19th it is wednesday it's an odd day so it's my turn to introduce and today's prompt for it is tower and so i thought this was the funniest thing that i had was on our little sheet we have thinking of our prompts i go tower dice tower dice let's talk about dice so it's, probably, clock, clock. so it's probably the furthest distance from the prompt to what we're actually talking about. <clears throat> cat agrees. Yeah, probably hear my cat. Hello. Come up here if you want up here. So we're just going to talk about dice in any way, capacity, shape, or form you'd like to. So go ahead, Ted. Well, the shiny math rocks go clock, clock. So, you know, how a lot of people view dice. I have friends who collect every dice in the, under the world, and they've got like you know mounds of them. I collect black. I collect the black and red ones for DM dice. Oh, I dropped it. Yep. This happens to be uh, dice near me. My dice are across the room, and I actually, and I'm getting a kind of dice tower in uh, my overworld thing. But it's a, uh, it's actually a. Uh, actually, yeah, I do think it's a, I do think it's actually a dice tower. It's kind of cool. Other than that, yeah, dice are just dice are fun. They're kind of needed for like everything. Like no game does not use dice. And the games that don't use dice are weird. Well, hey, diceless games. There's a lot of things. Diceless games are not bad games. It's an no, interesting they're concept. Games. They're they're interesting and they're cool. With other takes. It does not change the fact that they're weird. So, I want to talk about the way that dice have changed. So dice technology, it is really, dice technology has really like upped now as I've been thinking about this prompt for a while. So back in ye olden times of when I was in high school, like you just had like generic polyhedral, just the normal set of seven. And that was like it. I don't remember ever going into my game store in high school, or even when I was just in a college and getting into playing with you, seeing other than the chess sets of just there being a bunch of different colors, there wasn't really much to dice. They were just kind of like, okay, they're plastic and sometimes they're translucent and sometimes they're solid colored. And that's really it. I feel like now, oh my God. So like the fad now, the fad is like metal dice, solid metal dice, which I have a set of. Nicole has two sets of, and we each have a set of gem dice which is by Norse Foundry. It took me a minute. And they're basically just lab-grown, like, semi-precious stones. Mine are, like, this green kind of thing. They're not jade or anything, but they're bonkers. It's the amount of really crazy dice you can see now. You can go online, and making your own dice is a whole freaking industry now. Nicole has her own little like silicone mold thing she's going to try her start her hand at making her own dice just because it's cool and it's a bunch of bonkers it's dice has gotten way more complicated than they used to and i love it because i think it's great i want to like own all the cool dice sets they're just expensive oh my god dice have gotten so expensive i think the gem sets are like 80 dollars a piece <laughs> and the metal dice are like 40 it's they're stupidly expensive really quickly Either Ted froze or he died. Did you have a stroke? No. Oh, there you go. I'm, I'm, I'm still here. I'm just, just... I, 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 I am chuckling at, this will be a super quick video. I'm going to talk about dice technology. <laughs> I know them... absolutely nothing about how dice have like, changed because I don't pay much attention. And and, I, well, I don't know how they ch to... Well, okay. Like, and, I can't, and I can't afford the super nice sets, but with the way, like, they're, the way like they're more entertaining. The way they're like made, I don't you know fully get, but I now, I just been thinking about like when we first started playing. Did you, we never saw gem dice. We never saw no, uh, we metal see. dice. We never saw those dice in well, those no, funky we, weird shapes. Well, no, we we did no, we did see some of those. They were just super expensive and rare. And oh no, that's right. Because I actually have a pure copper set that I got when I was in. Yeah, because in high school, the dice stuff like that was like coming out like when, when like, they're when really we met, they're small. When, when like when we met back in 2010, that's when um no, that was in seven. Yeah, I mean 2007. Seven or eight. Um, was just was the start of like this super weird dice set parts coming out like yeah the weird shapes heavy metal like 
I could throw a, I could throw a D six at you and cut, give you brain damage. Yeah, every now that now oh, every single every single dice maker has their own metal sets. There's all the different weird crazy sets. Now just people are just making their own dice sets on like Etsy and stuff because people yeah. found out that they can just make their and they can just buy printers. silicone. Yeah, in three D printers. I silicone do stuff. I got friends who are making dice right now and Nicole's like a friend getting, of mine Nicole's getting into it. Like a friend of mine did a uh, Kickstarter for for uh, Cthulhu dice, so it's dice with um d- different dice sets with a uh, different theme from the from the mythos and. I got the special edition black and red um, Cthulhu one that you only got if you back to a certain point. And my friend got me that one. Gave me that one and kept all the others. I was like, that, that's completely fair. Definitely makes me way more paranoid about losing my dice now because I had a massive bag of dice that at one point I took all the dice out and I tried to build all the sets to see if I had full sets of all my dice. And I don't. I have multiple sets I'm missing either one or two dice of. And so they're all in their own little bag. And I call those my misfit dice that are I loan to players that forget their dice. And now it's like I have all these nice dice that I never want to lose. I only use the one. Come here. Cat's looking at me. Come here. Okay. So if you want to join in on the dice conversation, that's fine. But now, now that all the days come in their own little holders. Now, though, so it's really easy to keep track of your metal sets and whatnot. The, like, okay, the, like I have seven, I put seven back. <laughs> the cat's yeah. contribution to the dice conversation. I see shiny clack clack magic rock. I swipe. Yeah, they knock them around. <laughs> but yeah, this was a this was the quick and easy. Then it, it just dice just made it because you can buy the dice towers now that fold by um, heavy metal or metal dice i think they're by metal dice and even heavy metal i think does them too where they make little foldable dice towers i think i posted a picture on the channel's instagram of it and you can just get all this crap that you can actually even use metal dice with because you need the trays because you're going to mess up your table if you don't but it's i it's don't funny. Dice yep. i think it's i it just is. think it's very funny that dice have gotten so much more complicated in like the last five years like there's just way more there's just way more to them Come here. That's pretty great. So, with that being said, because oh, that's right, it is an odd day. Uh, do all the YouTube stuff, especially ring the bell. Uh, check us out on our social. I'm yep. pet, pet my cat. If she'd come up here, I would hold her. Come here. Ugh, you little turd. Uh, check us out on our social medias. You know. Write down, t- send us pictures of your coolest dice sets or whatnot. I think I've taken glamour shots of dice before and posted them on, on the Instagram or on um, on Twitter just because. Um, yeah, I think that's really yeah. This was a quick one. That's pretty much it. Yep, no worries. So have a have a happy Wednesday Hump Day. Um, <laughs> we're almost there. We're almost to payday. Two more days. Um, if you're bi-weekly, you know, I'm bi-weekly, so it's payday uh, this week soon. I'm so excited. Um, yeah, so until then, goodbye. Goodbye. So I'm going to say something deeper, but then I didn't, couldn't figure it out.